HDMI ARC or audio return channel is the preferred method for connecting your Roku Ultra to a Samsung soundbar. It provides the best audio quality and simplifies control by allowing one cable to handle both video and audio signals. First, you'll need an HDMI cable. Make sure you have a high quality HDMI cable that supports ARC functionality. Let's look at the cable types available. Now let's examine the connection points. On your Samsung soundbar, locate the HDMI out port labeled TV ARC. This is where you'll connect one end of your HDMI cable. Next, connect the other end of the HDMI cable to your Samsung TV's HDMI in port that's labeled ARC. This port is specifically designed for audio return channel functionality. After making the physical connection, you need to configure your soundbar. Change the source on your soundbar to the DIN setting. When properly connected, TV Arc should appear on the soundbar's display. Now you need to enable HDMI CEC on your Samsung TV. Navigate to Settings, then All Settings, Connection, External Device Manager, and finally AnyNet plus HDMI CEC. This feature allows your devices to communicate and simplifies control. Finally, ensure that the HDMI Arc mode is set to Auto in your TV's sound settings. This allows the TV to automatically detect and use the soundbar for audio output. Your HDMI Arc setup is now complete. This connection provides the best audio quality and allows you to control both your TV and soundbar with a single remote. The setup enables seamless communication between your Roku Ultra, Samsung TV, and Samsung soundbar. If your TV doesn't support HDMI ARC, an optical cable connection provides an excellent alternative for connecting your Roku Ultra to a Samsung soundbar. Optical connections are ideal when your TV lacks HDMI ARC support, when you experience HDMI ARC compatibility issues, or when you prefer a dedicated audio connection separate from video. You'll need a digital optical cable, also known as SPF or ADAT cable. These cables transmit digital audio signals and support up to 5.1 surround sound, providing high quality audio transmission. First, locate the optical out port on your TV's back panel and the optical in port on your soundbar. Connect one end of the optical cable to the TV's optical out port and the other end to the soundbar's optical in port. Here you can see the optical out port on the back of a TV. It's typically labeled as digital audio out or optical and may have a red light visible when active. On the soundbar's back panel, locate the digital audio optical input port. It's usually clearly labeled and positioned alongside other connection ports. Next, configure your TV's audio settings. Navigate to Settings, then Sound, select Sound Output, and change it from TV speaker to receiver optical. This directs audio through the optical connection. Configure your Samsung soundbar by pressing the Source button on the remote control and selecting DE in for digital input. The soundbar display should show TV ARC when properly connected. Configure your Roku Ultra's audio settings by going to Settings, then Audio, Select SPDIF for optical connections, choose manual configuration, and set digital output format to pass-through or auto. During playback, press the star button and set volume mode to off to prevent stereo downmixing. Optical connections provide excellent audio quality, supporting up to 5.1 surround sound with digital signal transmission that's immune to electrical interference. The connection supports Dolby Digital, DTS, PCM Stereo, and full 5.1 surround sound formats, making it a reliable choice for high quality audio. Your optical connection setup is now complete. Your Roku Ultra is properly connected to your Samsung soundbar with optimized audio settings for the best possible sound quality.